What is up guys, Cruise Designs here, and this is part two in my materials, uh, my Cinema 4D material series. If you didn't watch part one, uh, basically we created some cool grunge uh, materials using some grunge textures. If you haven't watched that, I suggest you go and watch that after you've seen this one. But in this one, we're, I'm going to be showing you all the different materials that are built into Cinema 4D. So it's not really going to be so much focused on creating them, but I'm going to be showing you where you can get really cool materials from instantly. And also this will be the last part in the series, there's only going to be two parts. So let's get started. I'm going to grab a sphere and enlarge it, drag the segments up a bit, there we go. And now I've got my example. So there are two ways you can get to the built-in materials in Cinema 4D. You can come down to the materials palette, click file load material preset and you get these options you won't have this one this one or this one those three are the material packs by the 696 baby you can go download them at the youtube channel project 4d and they're really good i suggest you get them but i'm not going to focus on them today uh, i'm going to look at the built-in ones so we've got broadcast prime sketch studio and visualize the three main ones that you want to look in are broadcast prime and visualize and uh, so that's the first way of seeing the materials. The problem is though, if you come, uh, come broadcast resources, materials, and choose an option, effects, uh, you see you can't really preview the material. So if I click this one, you can only see it once you've clicked it, and if you don't like it, you then have to delete it. So uh, a different way of doing it better is coming up here to your content browser, clicking there, and that bring up this menu, almost exactly the same as what you had down here. You've got Broadcast Prime, Sketch Studio, and Visualize still. So let's go into Broadcast, Resources, and you see you also get all these extra options, which are uh, I suggest you check them out, such as Lights, but I'm not going to focus on them today. So let's go to Materials, and go to Glossy. And you'll see here we get, instead of... Um, the normal circle or sphere that you get, if you create a normal material, you get this cool kind of double knot. And if you're making a material pack, this can make it look a lot more professional, a lot nicer. And so I suggest you use one of these. Also, in this menu, if you want to go back, you just click the up arrow here. So we're going to grab a material. I'm going to go with glaze blue. And you see, if you double click, it automatically goes into your content, into your material palette. So let's come out of this. So, uh, I can also I'll quickly show you the other materials there are in here. We come to visualize materials, you get all these different kind of natural textures. Go to nature, flowers, grass, uh, metal, cool stainless steel. I'll drag that in there just to show you what that looks like. And then we come to prime. There's also light setups in here. As I said, you, you really want to check out everything in all of these folders. We're going to go to materials for now. And you've got all these other cool, uh, these are a lot uh, more, these are a lot stranger materials. There's a lot of wood in there as well. But as you can see, they're kind of weird. Something you might use, uh, they'll make your project look really interesting, but not something you might use on a uh, regular basis. So I'm going to leave them. So we've got these two materials. I'm going to quickly show you this metal one, and as you can see, that gives it a really cool metal. It really looks like it is stainless steel. And then if you come to uh, your projection, as I said in part one, is really important as well. If I come to shrink wrapping, render it. Uh, that it didn't change anything for that material, but if you're using certain materials, you will want to change it to uh, reflect the object you're using. So if you're using text, you want to change it to cubic. If you're using a sphere. You want a spherical or shrink wrap. So let's delete that one and we've got this material. Uh, as you can see, the main color here is in diffuse. I've got diffuse, I can change that. Let's go for red. Okay. And then this these blue highlights, that's the specular. So you can come down here, look in the specular, and there's blue there, so let's change that to yellow just to show you. And obviously that wasn't the main one, but this one as well. Let's grab a yellow as well. And there we go, we get this other, we've created a whole new uh, texture, a whole new material. So you can also come to 
uh, something like environment and you can load an image. You basically want to play around with all of these, give it a roughness and pull the amplitude right up. And as you can see, it's gone, it almost looks furry, but it's, it's gone really rough. You can change everything here, put the octaves up, and that's changed it again. Messing around with all of these will change the appearance, make it look different. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like, I'm going to pull the octaves back down. And you can also change the type of, uh, well, the function, the type. So you see if I change it to fire, that's completely changed. It looks completely different now. Messing around with these, Naki, that's changed it again. Cranal, again. Everything you do, uh, we'll just change it. So we're going to leave that like that for now. If I drag this on, set the projection. The projection's on spherical, that's good. Render this. And I've got this really weird, uh, kind of almost like lava material that we've created. And the roughness looks a bit rubbish like that. So we're going to bring it right down. Change it to something else, like Luca. See what that looks like, and that looks uh, better. You can put the reflection up a bit. Too much, and then you might also want to drag some lights in. Drag a light there. Down. Like that. Render this. Not too right. I'll put, try putting global illumination on. See what that does. And that's made it look slightly better. So uh, it's pretty much that. That's pretty much the tutorial. I know it was basic, but uh, I've pretty much shown you how to create hundreds of amazing materials already built into Cinema 4D. I'm just quickly going to see if this changes the appearance. Grab that down there. See what this looks like. Okay, so that's pretty much the tutorial. That didn't really do much, but I've shown you where you can find hundreds of materials, and along with the grunt part one, the grunge materials. Uh, I hope this has really helped you. So uh, thank you for watching this tutorial, this is Cruise Designs and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.